Without structural change, our country is going to become Greece. What brought us here today was the election of November 2010. If the election were not about the size and scope of the government, what was it about? To the House members, you fulfilled your promise and your mandate. If, anything, if anybody listened to the campaign and expected less than what you see with cut, cap, and balance, you weren't listening. So to the House colleagues who won in 2010, to the House leadership, you have kept your promise to the American people to change Washington. Congratulations. To the Senate, are we going to be the body that resists change, that won't even allow one amendment to this bill? Are we going to become the enemy of change? I hope and pray that the Senate will embrace a debate that's been long overdue, give every colleague in the Senate a chance to express themselves about how to change America before it's too late. So to the leadership in the Senate, don't let this moment pass. Don't become the enemy of the American people who want to see their government change before it's too late. I am convinced that if we have a robust debate in the Senate, that we will eventually get the votes necessary to change the government for the better. One final thought. How much evidence does the American people need before they realize that Congress is never going to balance the budget without somebody making us? 75% of the American people support a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution because they know that neither party is going to do the hard work necessary to achieve balance without some discipline that's been lacking. To our House colleagues, the Senate has not been the best partner we could have been, but that's about to change. You're going to be proud of the Senate Republicans.